Since the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020, government has expended 142 billion shillings towards COVID-19 related research for procurement of specialized equipment, operational costs and the establishment of a vaccine manufacturing plant among others. Most of these funds have been channeled through the Presidential Scientific Initiative on Pandemics Preside under the Minister for Science and Technology, Dr. Monica Msenero. However, Select Committee of Parliament has unearthed discrepancies in how these funds have been spent over the last three financial years. In the committee report, most of these funds were spent without work plans and authorization. Preside did not account to Mosti for funds advanced projects. Several reminders were sent by the Permanent Secretary Mosti. The chairperson presides to provide the accountability for funds disbursed, but all in vain. The individual science eventually accounted for funds uh, disbursed, but not all were accounted for, as was observed in the Outer General's report uh, on COVID-19 funds. For example, the committee found out that 1.4 billion shillings was spent on salaries of seven staff of preside, but there was no evidence of such payments. In other instances, staff were paid more money than indicated in their appointment letters. The poor financial management resulted in two, up to at least 2.06 billion, not being accounted for, and operational funds. The lack of guidance on reporting resulted in two discrepancies. In reporting and allowances paid to science, further failure to harmonize allowances, uh, allowance rates also led to, to wastage. Despite channeling most of the resources under preside, the committee observed that the body lacks the capacity to undertake COVID-19 related research and in some cases duplicated the roles of already existing research bodies like the Uganda Virus Research Institute. Preside therefore is a deprecation of the already existing structures but without funds. Given uh, that the chairperson preside, uh, the Minister of Science and Technology, Science, Technology and Innovation, and the Senior Presidential Advisor on Epidemics are the same person one can say the preside is currently reporting uh, to itself. In the committee's opinion, preside should be disbanded on grounds of mismanagement, poor accountability practices, and overall poor planning. The committee further concluded that the body is operating illegally without a legal framework and structure. At, at its inception, government failed to define its legality, failed to analyze and optimize the structures that were already in place and build on these as a way of driving the pathogen economy forward. This went against the current government policy on rationalization and the improvement of efficiencies within MDAs. In her defense, Dr. Msenero told Parliament that three Auditor General's reports have cleared her and preside over any wrongdoing. I am greatly relieved, despite the allegation by Honorable Yona, the committee's report does not say anything about the 79 billion that he presented here or any such money that have been misappropriated. Mosenero also responded to statements on the legality of Preside. Preside was merged into STI. So there is no need for a chairperson of Preside. And once the new structure was published by, was approved by public service, Preside was merged. Ntunga Municipality MP Onam Singuzi who petitioned the parliament welcomed the committee findings. And members of the to be counted. If it is one of us, he's ashamed all of us, and we should not accept this. I know the rules of procedure. To censure a minister, we need signatures. I have already drafted papers. I pray that you all append your signatures, and we censure this minister today and not tomorrow. The debate of the report was deferred to Tuesday next week. Hubbard Ziwa, NTV at Parliament.